Hey everyone, welcome to day three of 12 secret practices for 12 days of Christmas. And today's practice is to connect to divine guidance. And I think this connection to divine guidance has changed my life more than anything else on my path. And I suppose as a channel that is part of my life path to connect so deeply to my guides and to my divine family. But I would never have discovered that I was a channel if I hadn't connected to that guidance and trusted in that guidance in the first place. And that guidance can come in many forms. You may experience that divine guide as a spirit guide or angel who is with you always on your journey, who is here to help your soul evolve in this lifetime. You may experience it as a divine teacher, such as the archangels or a teacher like Jesus, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene or Buddha. Or you might find yourself connecting straight to God, to that divine guidance from our divine source. You can also experience that guidance in many different ways. You might hear words, you might see images, you might just get a knowing, a feeling, a sensing within you, a feeling of a presence with you, a knowing of what you're meant to do. All of those are right. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. Whatever way works best for you at this time is what will happen for you. So it's best to go into without expectations, I think is what I'm trying to say. And sometimes when you ask for guidance, especially early on in the journey, it may not come right in that moment you're asking. But in the next few days, somebody might say something to you. You might read something in a book, you might see a poster, you might even hear a line on TV and your heart and your soul tells you that that is the answer that you've been looking for. And I suppose the divine guidance is also really about stopping listening to all the voices of the world, all the voices that want us to do something for them, all the voices that tell us to do something that might not be in alignment with what our heart and our soul wants to do. So it's learning to turn inside and listen to that divine guidance and follow it instead of the noise and the voices of the world. So we'll just go into a little meditation now to experience that. So just get yourself nice and comfortable. And just gently close your eyes when you're ready. Taking some long, slow, deep breaths in. Letting everything go on the out breaths. Letting your body gently soften. Letting your body gently relax. Letting your body gently sink down. Feeling your beautiful light shining at your heart. Letting your light shine out powerfully from your heart. And now asking that the best divine guide for you right now 
steps close to you, comes to be with you. Knowing your light is shining out to their light, is calling their light to you. Opening your heart to their loving presence. As you feel their light come closer and you feel their love come closer. And just taking your time now to let this divine guide come and be with you. And now as you feel this divine guide close to you, you ask them to help you connect more easily to them. And to help you connect more deeply to them. Holding your intention to connect to them Thanking them for connecting to you. Feeling your lights touch as they come close. Knowing you're one being of light connecting to another being of light. Knowing this is the most natural thing in the world. And I thank you, your guide, for their help and love. Your 
He asks them to gently step back from you for now. And you ask them to keep connecting with you in the coming days. And feeling their loving presence by your side. You stand strong in your own light again. Shining your light out powerfully. When you're ready, you gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. And slowly and gently in your own time. You open your eyes. And come back into the room. Building up that connection to divine guidance is... A thing you do every day, the more you do it, the easier it is to connect, the easier it is to understand the guidance that you're receiving. So it's not a one-off thing, it's something you do over and over and over if you really want to connect deeply to that divine guidance. So thank you for joining me today and I'll see you tomorrow for day four.